The goal of this video is to determine how fast Bobimoan detects leaks of all sizes, small, medium, and large. This video is going to cover all these scenarios and give you a preview of what you can expect from Flow by Moen if you are considering one for your home. First things first, here is the starting point where these tests began. This set of tests were run on a recently installed Flow. The week-long learning cycle was over and an additional week had passed so there wasn't a lot of system learning on our household habits yet. I had run a full irrigation cycle where I flood irrigated my citrus trees in one day the week after it was installed. The first series of tests were medium to large scenarios. These involved running the water through a hose bib to irrigate the citrus trees instead of wasting the water. The first test was at full blast, maxing out at 9.2 gallons per minute. Five minutes in, I received the first round of notifications stating there was a possible problem and that 53.3 gallons had already come out. The water was shut off at 11 minutes with 102.2 gallons used. My next test was at 3.1 gallons per minute. At a slower flow rate, this event triggered a notification after 14 minutes and the water was shut off at 19 minutes with 66.2 gallons used. A flow rate of 1.5 gallons is caught at 20 minutes and shut off at 25 minutes with a measurement of 38 gallons. Half a gallon a minute triggers a notification at 24 minutes and the valve automatically closes at 29 minutes with 14.5 gallons used. A rate of 0.2 gallons per minute flows for 25 minutes and shuts off at 31 minutes after six gallons ran out. Here's the interesting twist. There are a handful of irrigation settings that very much have an impact on how much water can occur in a single event before an alert is triggered. What I just showed you was a scenario where I did not indicate I had any form of irrigation. When I'm not doing full-on testing like this, I set my Melnor rain cloud to echo mode where it turns on and off, keeping Flow happy and preventing it from shutting off the water. And yes, Flow has some kind of quirk where you don't see the radio button selected, but when you back out and go back into that setting, it actually kept the setting you selected. So I tried my high flow test again, which maxed out at 9.4 gallons per minute this time with drip irrigation selected. With this setting, the high flow event did not trigger a critical alert for 35 minutes. At that time, 327.8 gallons had come out. Five minutes later, flow automatically shut off the valve at 377.5 gallons used. I was only able to run one scenario on this setting First, because the berms of the trees were all filled to the brim with that volume of water. Second, this device failed a week later from what I suspect is excessive heat and UV exposure. Flow is ill-suited for my kind of environment with our exposed plumbing and subsequent heat and UV. But what this does show you is you can carefully consider your usage and how you might try to select a more conservative setting by changing the usage pattern of other events to make your home more secure from actual leaks. So I had this video wrapped up with a bow on top when another discerning viewer, thank you, Ted, reached out to me with a series of questions. I had totally forgotten about some of the original flow scenario testing I'd shared with you all out on my blog in 2019. While the numbers don't matter so much because flow has very much improved their algorithm since then, they do show you some real scenarios and some lessons learned. At this point, I'll point you to the link in the description because I'll share these findings in a future video about what you can expect from all water monitor and shutoff systems, not just Flow by Moen and Fin Plus. Now we're onto the really small leaks, which won't be caught any other time than during an automatic or manually run health check. And for those results, that's what next Friday's video is all about. I will also be sharing the exact same testing with Fin Plus in the near future, so consider subscribing so you don't miss those tests. I will add links to all those videos in the description when they come out. I also have another video on a full walkthrough of all the notifications you can receive from Flow when a leak occurs, which I only touched on the alerts within the app here. Keep in mind, your own experience will depend on your own household habits as Flow's artificial intelligence recognizes your usage patterns and adjusts the reaction time accordingly. <laughs> you have to consider how grumpy you might be if you're cut off in the middle of a long, relaxing shower with bubbles in your hair. There's a fine line between too much interference 
and detecting a real leak. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Friday.